Apple's iPhone 10 represent a massive departure from the company's earlier smartphone models. The 10th anniversary iPhone is a reimagining of Apple's smartphone in so many ways. From the look and feel of the hardware to the new gesture-based navigation, user, users must learn in order to use an iPhone with no home button. It takes a bit of getting used to, but most Apple fans seem to enjoy the new user experience a great deal. Of course, there is more to the new iPhone 10 than just a few new gestures and most users seem to be unaware of all the, all the nifty hidden tricks that makes using the iPhone 10 so much easier. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a lesson known trick that are going to be big eye opener for many iPhone users out there. iPhone newcomers are going to be wowed, but even advanced users are going to learn something in this video. Some of the features are exclusively for iPhone 10, but most of other features works with any iPhones out there. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Face ID Setup This one is quite possibly the most important tip you will find in this video. If there is one thing that iPhone users take the longest to adjust to, it's the loss of Touch ID. Some people love Face ID, while others seem to have a great deal of trouble getting it work consistently. What you might not know, however, is that there is a way to set it up that seems to have a huge impact on how well it works for many users. The basic idea is that people hold their iPhone directly in front of their face when configuring Face ID. Of course, no one holds their arms straight out when actually unlocking an iPhone. That's why people have uh, found that Face ID works much more quickly when it's set up while holding the phone down at waist or stomach level instead of up in front of your face. Moving app icons. Don't you hate uh, it how it always takes a dozen try tries to move a jiggling app icon into a jiggling folder? Don't worry, there is indeed a better way. While holding the app you are trying to move with a finger on one hand, tap the folder you want to drop it into with a finger on your other hand. That's it. As is the case, when you are moving app into a folder, you can also use a finger on your hand to swipe between home screen pages. Trust us, it is so much faster than trying to hover the, on the corner of the screen and waiting. Reachability Remember that awesome feature on an older iPhone where you could double tap the home button and the display would slide down so you can reach things at the top of the screen with one hand. Well, it's not gone. It is just hiding. Open the app, open the settings app and go to general, accessibility and scroll down to interaction and enable reachability. To use it, simply make a quick swipe on the home bar at the bottom of the screen. App Switcher Most people think that the best way to open the iPhone X's new app switcher interface is to swipe up from the bottom of the screen, stop in the center and wait for the app switch to appear. That's not the case. Instead of swiping up and stopping, swipe up from the center of the bottom of the screen and then over to the right in the one continuous semicircular motion, you will get app switch even faster. Multitasking you don't like the way the app switcher works on your new iPhone 10 to switch between multiple apps? Not to worry, there is indeed a workaround. As in the case with the tip above, there is also a faster way to switch between recent apps. Instead of swiping up over and then back down, just swipe from the side to side along the home bar at the bottom of the display to easily switch between apps. It is faster. Face ID unlock time. New users will think there is only one right way to unlock the iPhone 10. Raise it and then swipe up after the Face ID padlock has opened. Seasoned iPhone 10 users already know of a faster way. Raise and swipe. That's right. Face ID is usually so accurate that you can just swipe up. No need to wait for the padlock icon to open. When the true depth camera is held directly in front of your face, you save a half a second but when you're unlocking your phone all day long, they add up. Mm -hmm. 
This is a nifty little tip that most people simply don't think of. Remember, when you enabled reachability using one of the tip above, well, now you can use it to open the control center or notification panel with one hand on, on your iPhone 10. Instead of reaching all the way up to the top of the display on either side of the notch, use reachability to slide the screen down. Then swipe down on the battery icon to open the control center or on the clock to open the notification panel. If for whatever reason you find yourself in a situation where you don't want Face ID to be your primary form of security, like if you are being held captive somewhere and someone has your phone and could force you to look at it, you can quickly deactivate it. Quickly press the power button, officially called the side button, 5 times and it will automatically turn first Face ID off and default your passcode to unlock. Entering your passcode will reactivate the Face ID. Many Android phones have had a double tap to wake the display feature for years. Now iPhone 10 users have a similar feature, only it requires a tap. Tap to wake is nice for when you just want to check the time or peek at your notification without lifting the phone up and triggering the face ID. You can tap anywhere on the iPhone 10 display to activate this feature. To snap a still of what's on the screen, just press the side button and the volume up key simultaneously. The keyboard is one of the biggest weak point of iOS devices, in part due to the lack of an option to add a number row. Fortunately, there is a way to quickly switch between the numeric and alphabet layout on your iPhone keyboard. To try it out, simply tap and hold the 1 2 3 button while you input the numbers or punctuation marks. Once you are finished using the numeric keyboard, let go of the 1 2 3 button and your keyboard will change back to its alphabet mode without the need of an extra tap. This little known method is so simple, you won't believe how long it is stay hidden under blind sight. It is especially ideal for typing alphanumeric passwords and it will make typing in general faster once you get hang of it. That's all for today and I hope you enjoy and learn something new out of this video. If you like my video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel to see my videos as soon as I drop in. Thanks for your support. Have a good one.